Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back. Just had to take a look at my stat screen and all that. But we need to go talk to Mr. Barman here. We just probably go talk this way. You say Bobber won't go to the sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the water? <laughs> oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keyhaw Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not all Bobbery, though. The fact of the matter is, Hanra Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You'll probably end up crying, but I'll tell it to you if you really want me to. Please do. I can take it. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for, ugh, for long periods. Scarlet never complained though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived, and found happiness where they could, and all was good, for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew. But it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He has never gone out to sea since. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. Or you could just hate the ocean because it's full of crazy stuff. You all know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? Yes, we have no choice! Very well, I understand. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. Special bottle of wine? Got an old letter, the letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so he may hear my voice. Who was her last request? But when I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I couldn't just bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. Please. Take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, Podley, things are ten. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Should have done this ages ago. It's fine. But let's go back, little Novaleth. Onward, Steed. What? Bobbery, are we not friends? Alright. Wait, or is this his house? No, is this his one of these is his house. Oh, yes, I found it. So what is the locked door, by the way? Bobbery, do you know the answer? What? Oh, by Blabberton's beard, not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon, a letter, you say? Before me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you will remember that time, like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time, like love is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. A, a thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please. Noveleth, can we talk about the axes on his walls? And why we don't have those as just standard equipment? Yes, love. I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet. I love you still. Ah, hello, Bobbery. Now then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Key Hall Key? Hmm. <laughs> if you think an old sea bum like me is what you need, then let's shove off. I'm a Bobby! Yes! Now this ship's in the harbor. Hmm? I must inspect it before we leave. I shall meet you there. Alright, Evelyn. Time to go on another adventure. 
It's just another day in the office. Da -da -da. Oh! No! Who needs emails? Why would people bother me? I'm just trying to save the world! Would you? Alright. Hello, I have found our navigator. I knew you'd get you would get Bubbery on board, you wonderful mustached man, you. To you, I must say, ahoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. Ahoy to me as well. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete. If you have no errors, we can depart at once. What do you say? Shall we set sail? Yes, let's shove up. Very well, to the sea, raise anchor and set sails for thrills and emotion. And romance and money, our destination is Dread Key Hall Key. Wait up! What are you doing on the side anyway? Just keeping a lookout? Letting everyone know that you're part of the crew? It's... Seems like you just should have been on the ship in the first place. Who am I to judge, though? Who am I to judge? This is X not one here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X one, X not one here. Over. Roger. Reading you five by. Infl infiltration is successful. X not black aboard vessel. Repeat, X not black is on board the vessel. <gasps> we have a traitor. What? Who could it be? But here we go. Chapter five. The key to pirates. Woo! Always wanted to be a pirate. Month star, day XO. Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavio has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ha! I must scoff. Flavio will show them guts. I feel like this Flavio is a good guy. Day XX. Another day of good wind, white clouds. They dazzle me. It is as if they are blessing our voyage. Flavio thanks them most heartily. I like how his little flag of color at the top is a sun. Seems appropriate. Day X. Note, things are going smoothly, yet I am filled with dread. At this speed, we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. Skull Captain casts his gaze where jewels shines in place. Bubasa Boom Festival! Mustache Brothers, best of friends, three times red stash lands on his hand. Blue stash's belly four times is whacked, so let's hear those fireworks go boom! At the Boom Boss and Boom Festival! Yes, now we are talking. Flavia told you, did he not? Nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. Do you not see it? It is a mountain of treasure. Literally, or... Oh, I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? No, it is no trouble at all. There I was, locked in deadly combat with a sea serpent. Yes, but even then I smiled, for I knew I'd prevail. Great. He started again. A tale of bravery, right? I heard this one yesterday. There's nowhere to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. Yeah, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it, too. Uh, why is that? What? Wait, what's going on here? The ship's stopping. Oi, Master Flavio! Awfully sorry to interrupt that wicked story, but the ship stopped. Huge drink of a man-eater. <laughs> ah, stopped, you say to me, after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Well, it is your job to keep the ship moving, yes? Mm, so take care of it. Ah, aye, aye, Flavio. I'll get on it right quick. What a tick. I'm sure nothing bad is about to happen. Just, you know broke down. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a Goomba stomping moment, you scaly wags. Oh, where's my moon? What's with this guy? Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said, quit shoving! It's working out well for you. There! What is this ruckus now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Oh, mm, it's... Mm, oh, oh, it's gotten worse. No, 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 they're upon us, the pirate ghosts! All the rumors were true! Oh, what do we do? We gotta get out of here! Ah! 
this is a do not panic yourselves. This is just a dream that we all having a wake. No, 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 quickly move the boat. Ah! Well, there must have multiplied. Oh, ghostly ooing thing. Are you really the savage pirate king? Oh, help me! Oh, no. Buck up now, everyone. Remain civilized. Relax. Don't panic. Relax. Relax. Relax, I say. You simply must take it easy. What? Uh, game? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on. Sorry about that. Had to reboot the controller there. Just basically lost control of itself. Blind. Excuse me, listen everyone, if we could form an orderly line without shoving. Forget that, I'm moving path. Barbary, look alive, man. Hi, we must get out of here. Abandon ship. Every rich, marvelous merchant for himself. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, mm. Everything's fine. Don't panic. Month star, day X star, fortune from disaster, the kindly sea washed us ashore. What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along, no? And yet, we mourn, we have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. It pains me to think that they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. What happens to us now, uh, we must be lost without, we may be lost without hope, stricken in the wilds. Month star, day X, a uh, heart, we have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flats and wa washed in, and now we have salty bread and other salty things. We can live for some time on the salty bounty of the sea, but then what, I ask? Day circle circle. We have built a few huts from the washed up timbers. Ah, poor sweet SS Flavion. At least the shanties keep out the wind and rain. We still have had no sight of Vabri and the others, and my heart, she doubts. Still, despite my fears, we must continue to hope that they are alive somewhere. Day circles. Circle X. Three days on the aisle now, and the huts are all finished. We have carved a life out here, though we all dream of a return to Rogueport. I see I'm being helpful here. Oi, Captain Stash! It ain't much, but we finished a wee hut for you to rest it. Go have a look. I suppose uh, I must. I must make sure everything's fine. Is there anything behind this rock? Oh, that would be a great place to put a star piece. I'm just saying. Alright, let's go look at this so-called hut. Gavin, please help us. Flavia Papacha in a huge fight. And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. What are you talking about? You were the one quaking his boots, fancy pants. Wait. Wait one moment. Did you... Did you just call the great Flavio? Fancy Pants. That's right, Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. Fancy Pants. Why, you little Cyclops, Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn. Oi, that's right, fun by me. I can't wait to put a few dents in those fancy threads. Gabbit stash, the ghost of back. Oh, Nelly. Mario, for front and center, this is an order. Take care of those ghosts. Alright. Seems like I have no choice. Let us bring out. Looks like I could do art attack? I feel like that's a great way to start. Alright. Draw around the enemy as many times as you can. Whoop! Whoop! I don't think that worked too well. It's fine. So this the... I think it matters how much I've surrounded. Alright, that was pretty good. And instant knockout. Ooh, we're really close to another level up. Good news, bears. We need all those, those badge points. Yes, you're a blooming beast, Captain Stash. 
Too early to celebrate, no. There are surely more of them s of them elsewhere, huh? Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that is what must be. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. On this, I broke no argument. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Mario, perhaps you could handle the exploration of this island. Can do. That is my boy. I knew you would go forth with boldness. We count upon you. All right. Well, we get to at least see a little bit of the island going on here. Get to know what's up. We do need a rest. That is important. Hi, this may not look like much, but we're proud of our seaside shanty. A night's stay is ten coins. Would you like to rest? It's expensive. Sleep tight. You know, for being stranded on an island, you're charging a lot. I'm just saying. We should pool our resources together. I get it mechanically, it makes sense in game, but did you sleep well, Cam? Enjoy your day! Alright, and I will call it quits here. That was a good amount of time. We shall explore what's on this island, see if we can figure out what these ghosts want. Maybe they're just looking for cookies. You never know. I will see you all next time. You all have a good day. Take care.